Hello and welcome dear students in this lesson in this series of uh, grammar and use in this lesson we are going to cover verb patterns and uh, regarding verb patterns we are going to explore uh, a little bit more about uh, infinitives, gerunds, participles and there will be loads and loads of vocabulary that the students can note down. So grab a pen and a notepad and get ready let us dive into the lesson. In this lesson of verb patterns, we need to understand how these verbs are used and how when these verbs, when used, do not change the meaning and when these verbs are combined with other verbs and they change the meaning. Let us begin. Some verbs in English can uh, only go with a gerund. Gerund means that ing word and an infinitive. That means the word, the verb preceded by a to, to play. Some verbs can go with both. That means certain verbs can be used with ing like swimming and certain ver verbs can be used with infinitives like to play. Now, which are these verbs and how are they used? These verbs often describe wishes, plans or feelings. Now, some verbs that go with either, that means with both of them, they describe about wishes, plans and feelings. So, make a note of uh, the purpose so that now we go ahead and note down those words the first pointer that we have is the verbs with infinitives infinitives as we have learned in the previous lesson that the verb preceded by a two will together make it an infinitive and infinitive alone do not exist in sentences they have to come into the context with some other finite verbs for example over here the main verb is arranged so the main verb describes the plan or a wish to do an activity over here infinitive is to describe that activity so this infinitive actually describes the activity so let us see the first pointer verbs with infinitives english uses infinitives with two after certain verbs that describes someone's plans or wishes to do an activity so over here this was the main verb and to play the infinitive is plan, uh, describing what was arranged they arranged to play tennis so that is how the context is built remember this main verb and infinitive is after it main verb will show some action and infinitive will describe or the wish or the plan regarding it now let us see certain examples how these are constructed the infinitives don't change no matter what the tense of the main verb is that means to play to play to drive to learn they remain as such that means the construction is to and the base form of the verb together now let us see I am I am this is a con uh, contraction of I a M M A is apostrophized. So I am I'm waiting to play badminton, but my friend is running late. Main verb is waiting. Waiting for what? To play is describing for what the person is waiting. We wanted to play baseball yesterday, but it was raining. Wanted is the main verb, and to play is describing what that person is wanted. What what that person wanted. The car broke down, but my friend offered to drive me home. Offered what? To drive the person home. So, to drive is describing something that the offer, that was the offer. Ron decided to learn how to play the trombone. Now, over here, decided is the main verb. And to learn is describing or the wish or what he had decided. Now, let us see which of these main verbs main verbs may take infinitives after it other verbs followed by infinitives that means these verbs the students these selected words are not just a limited vocabulary but a few selected words that the students usually student school and college students use and these are very often used repeatedly in our vocabulary that is how these are listed over here but this is not the ultimate vocabulary there are many many more, more words those are followed by infinitives let us read those words in the clockwise manner let's begin with the 12 o'clock position decide decide to play 
intent intent to play fail fail to comply hope hope to go deserve deserve to punish deserved to get punished appear appear to appear to be honest appear honest appear to be honest okay manage manage to get offer offer to comply seem seem to get agree agree to play arrange arrange to go plan plan to arrange pretend pretend to pretend to write learn learning learning learn learn to learn to play refuse refuse to write claim claim to give now these are certain words the main verbs which are followed by infinitives students may take down these vocabulary and construct sentences as i have given certain hints you may pause the video and work on this exercise now let's proceed to the second point pointer verbs with gerunds english uses gerunds after certain verbs that say how a person feels about an activity now let us first understand gerunds gerunds are verbs with ing um in the spelling and these gerunds are used in such a way that they have the force of a noun as well as the force of a verb in a sentence and as we have learned now that gerunds can be used with certain verbs to say how a person feels about an activity the example that we have before us is i enjoy swimming the verb describes the feeling of the activity i enjoy it's a main verb now the word swimming is the gerund over here the word for the activity is the is in the gerund form now the word enjoy is the main action and swimming is actually telling us how the person felt about it or how the person enjoyed it or the the feeling so that the feeling is actually enjoyment and the gerund is the main verb over there or the so it has got the role of a noun as well as the role of a verb so let's go back to our um, understanding english uses gerunds after certain verbs that say how a person feels about the activity so the verbs will tell you how the person is feeling about the activity and the gerunds are are followed after it and the the word for the activity is in gerund form that means it the it has got the force of a noun as well as the force of a verb now let us see certain examples how these uh, main verbs and gerunds are used if we go back and see in our construction we had actually the main verb in green color and the gerund in red so we have got the, the same structure that is followed he doesn't feel like feel like what playing playing is gerund over here Uh, tennis tonight do you miss skiing now that the summer is here miss is the main verb and skiing is the gerund would you consider applying for a promotion consider is the main verb and applying for the applying is the gerund we really dislike jogging we are so out of shape dislike is uh, the main verb and jogging is gerund i really enjoy running marathons enjoy is uh the main verb and running is the gerund he doesn't mind staying late at work when he has to work do not end the sentence with to so he uh, the mind is uh, the main verb and staying is the gerund over here at this moment you may construct certain sen sentences on your own using some similar structures those are shown on screen now let us see what verbs that means what verbs will take gerund after it the verbs uh, those are these are the common verbs that the students school and college students use or we tend to use very often in our vocabulary or in our expressions repeatedly let us take these words down in a notebook and let us begin reading it from the 12 o'clock position i'll go in the clockwise order 
enjoy enjoy uh, walking allow allow swimming consider consider asking dislike dislike looking finish finish asking deny deny doing suggest suggest uh, studying keep keep asking avoid avoid uh, stumbling miss miss uh, boarding appreciate going or replying delay asking discuss uh, discuss uh, playing discuss watching risk we uh, he had to he ha he risked uh, diving admit asking mind going i enjoy we had begun with that so take down these words and students are requested to construct sentences as i have given certain hints to you you may pause the video at this moment and continue with your exercise let us proceed to the third pointer the third pointer is that verbs followed by infinitives or gerunds no change in meanings that means now, now we come across a third category the verbs followed by infinitives or gerunds both now previously we have seen certain words followed only by infinitives then certain main verbs those are followed only by gerunds now we are going to look at certain words which are either followed by infinitives or gerunds or both so let us see some verbs can be followed by gerunds that means the ing verb which have got the force of a noun or a force of a verb or by in, uh, followed by an infinitives that means to work to play etc or uh, with little or no change in meaning that that is hardly any change in the meaning if you construct the sentences using either an infinitive or a gerund provided these specific ver verbs are used you can often use both forms interchangeably as for the example given before us i like i like to work in an open plan office with a team i like working in an open plan office with a team so work or work to work or working both can be used the structure is correct example i like playing tennis i like to play tennis over here it is used as a gerund and over here to play is used as an infinitive and the main verb over here is like which is the state verb not an action verb but a state verb if you've not if you don't know what are action and state verbs kindly go back uh, to my video with state verbs and action verbs on the channel now let us see certain examples where certain main verbs either take infinitives or gerunds and the meaning meaning remains the same emails are really awkward i prefer to meet in person emails are really awkward i prefer meeting in person after a short stop they continued to drive towards the campsite after a short stop they continued driving toward the campsite once she had found a seat she began to write her essay once she had found a seat she began writing her essay why isn't the bus here yet i really can't stand to be late why isn't the bus here yet i really cannot stand being late now you can see that the meaning did not change at all now the students are requested to pause the video look at the structures and try constructing certain similar sentences try using the main verb prefer continued began can't stand but try changing the uh, infinitives or the gerunds used mm -hmm. over here now let us see certain words these words will either take uh, gerunds or an infinitive after it and there will be no change in the meaning whatsoever let us read from the 12 o'clock position love watching love to watch can't bear asking can't bear to ask can't stand giving can't stand to give intend 
to go intend going continue writing continue to write hate asking hate to ask begin writing begin to write like going like to go neglect uh, ask neglect uh, uh, upbringing neglect to upbring propose uh, uh, propose inviting propose to invite prefer asking prefer to ask start writing start to write uh, now you can see this these verbs main verbs take either an infinitive or a gerund now students may pause the video and use the hints that i have used to construct sentences independently you may pause the video now next we have something very interesting over here the change in meaning will take place so please bear in mind now we are looking at previously we had looked at certain verbs where either they take infinitives or they take gerunds or they take both infinitives or gerunds after it now we have got certain verbs followed by infinitives or a gerund but over here the change in meaning the context will change completely so please be very mindful of this part of the lesson some verbs change their meaning depending on the form of the verb that follows them now if this word stopped uses an infinitive the meaning is different if this word stopped uses uh, a gerund the meaning is different the infinitive is used to describe the purpose of the main verb's action so we can see the over here purpose is described the gerund is often used to talk about the action that means something that the action has been done which is happening around the same time as the main verb or the action is taking place now you can see meaning is different let us analyze the meaning he stopped to talk to her in the office before lunch which means he was walking around moving here and there in the office and then on the way as he was moving around he stopped walking so that he could talk to her this is the applied meaning or the purpose of using uh, an infinitive after the verb stopped stopped what if you were to ask a question nothing you don't get any answer from any of the part of the any word used in the sentence nothing so you get to, to know the purpose the purpose is stops to talk mm -hmm. and over here if you know about transitive and transitive verbs when you ask a question with the verb what you get you don't get an answer it's an intransitive verb now let us analyze the second sentence she stopped talking to him and rushed to a meeting now stopped talking she stops talking to him so that means she was doing something her action stopped and she started some other action let us see she was talking to him and she stopped talking in order to do something else yes we are right in our analysis and if we were to apply the same uh, technique or strategy stopped stopped what stopped talking so the action is going to the word talking when the action goes to the object of the verb it is a transitive verb so this is also another uh, 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 context over here but all you need to understand is the way this sentence is constructed the meaning is different when you use an infinitive you give the purpose and when you don't use an infinitive you use a gerund you are talking about the action that okay something that you want to talk or give some additional meaning regarding the action which is happening around the same time as the main verb or the action now let us explore certain sentences and see how they are different uh, when the verbs are used as infinitives and when the verbs are used as genitives gerunds <clears throat> now the verb plus infinitives and the verb plus gerunds how the meanings differ let us see she forgot to send the mail to her team that means she completely forgot her what she was supposed to do and never received the update she did not send the mail that is the applied meaning over here she forgot sending the mail so she sent it a second time over here forgot sending the mail that means she completely forgot whether she had sent it or not so she sent it again 
she forgot that she had already sent the mail he went on to write the report once the meeting had finished now the first action that got over is meeting got over and then second action is writing the report he finished the meeting and then wrote the report yes we are clear, very clear with the purpose he went on writing the report all evening it took hours that means he continued with the action that he was doing he was writing a report and he continued to do so yes we are right in our analysis i regret to tell you the unhappy news your flight has been delayed the regret to tell you that means unhappy to inform i have to tell you unhappy news and i'm sorry about it so unhappy to inform something i regret telling you the unhappy news that means this action is over now the per the person is repenting i can see it has upset you i wish i hadn't told you the unhappy news because you are very upset now so that means some action has already taken place in the past now the person is regretting do you remember to meet david your meeting was scheduled for today now this is a kind of reminder question that you were supposed to do something whether you have done it or not you were supposed to meet david did you remember to do that so that is the purpose yes we are right in our analysis do you remember meeting david that means this question is posed as a reminder uh, um, do you can you recall meeting david this is the meaning applied over here i forgotten that we had already met him do you had met david before and did you remember that so it is intended to uh, that the, the person should recall meeting david now requesting you to construct sentences uh, with verb and uh, infinitives verb and gerunds and try to give a different meaning context and try to analyze the way it is given over here as an explanation with this we have come to the end of the video if you like the lesson kindly like click on like share and subscribe thank you very much for your kind attention